this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can quickly create a very basic grid and I'm going to use the line tool in this case line tool I'm going to use the shape option and fill and in this case weight of 50 of course you can vary it whatever you want so hold down the shift and then draw the line out and I'm just going to go straight down so you've got that initial part line there hold down the alt and then you can duplicate now what you'll see if you've got the smart guide on and that's the key thing I'm just going to say 69% view and show and smart guides that's the key thing here so now hold the alt down and again 69% it will stop at that point 69% 69% Oops. If it moves on, of course, what you can do is just delete it. Of course, that's one possible. Or you could also use the distribution at a later point. So I'm just going to go 69%. Sometimes it does jerk a bit forward sometimes. And then hold 69. 69. Now you can, of course, also just select the whole lot. Just select all of the paths. So you can see they're all selected over there. And then hold down the Alt and just drag that and again you will see 69% there with those now make certain they're all selected yep yeah, all selected and of course you can then resize it okay once you've done that what you can do then and I'm going to go to a layer I'll click there okay layer and group layers just put it into a group then you hold down the alt and of course it just selects the single one which is not particularly what I want so what you need to do that's the key thing is actually select all of those and I always find it easy just to quickly go for smart object convert to smart object so it's a smart object and then you've got the smart object then because of course one thing with smart object you can always go and edit the smart object at a later point if you change your mind now duplicated that and now I can rotate that around so I can rotate that around and now just put it there and of course line is required because obviously it's not doesn't actually naturally hit there click OK and there you have a very quick grid now of course what you can do then is resize it go to a layer and smart objects again convert into a smart object and of course you can rotate it maybe apply transform perspective and so on and so on so you can create a whole range of different grid designs just simply by using the line tool now it's a pity of course that photoshop doesn't actually have a grid tool so this is a quick way of getting around that problem i hope you found this of interest thank you much